heart-shaped tomatoes. I got several varieties that claim to be heart-shaped, and I think this is one of them. You all see those? Also, look at the stem on here. It's split. So this tomato is going to have two main stems. I got two strings here. So I have several that have done that on me. If you watch them closely, when you get started, you can prevent it. Um, it'll just take a little extra care. I got a couple cool things to show you this morning, so stay with me. Found the cane. We'll walk by the tomatoes here and I'll show you something new I picked up. Cover the camera going into the pepper row. Okay. Uncovering the camera. Walking towards the red car. Picked up a new. gardening cart it has a seat on it a place to sit your bucket place under the seat put some of your tools pretty neat and this morning I had to bring out some diatomaceous earth and this uh, um, quart jar that I'm going to use to distribute it onto the fall beans here because starting at about this point they um, they're being attacked by some type of aphid and and this stuff should take care of them let's take a look at a pepper it's always fun to See how they're growing. Yeah. There's a bunch of peppers on this reaper plant. Kind of hiding in among the leaves. Very cool. And this cart's nice because you can just move down the aisle, you know, slowly checking your things try not to run over plants as you go what's this little guy is that a pepper plant hmm I think so very cool so I better get on top of these bugs this uh, tenacious earth open this is just super finely ground minerals that uh, <clears throat> creates a terrible environment for uh, bugs to live in it gets in their joints and it just uh, if they if they don't, it'll kill them if it gets on them. Feels like flour. If you have lung problems, it may be smart to wear a 
different mask while using this stuff. Maybe easier with a funnel. Pack it down in here. And this lid that I'm putting on the quart jar, I think, is just a uh, like a Parmesan cheese lid. It doesn't hold water. You have the big pour. And a sprinkler here. Pretty decent sized hose, which is what we want for this. Uh, the It's early in the morning, so the plants have a little condensation on them. So this stuff is going to stick to them pretty good and I'll just walk down through here sort of shaking it over the plants and around their base side doing this these are some big plants I hope we can get a good defense on these bugs I guess this is an offense now that they've attacked Stuff goes a long way. Wow, these are huge down this way. Oh. Broke my lid. It's fine. I think it's time for a refill. For the bugs that aren't immediately affected by this diatomaceous earth will want to move. To better living so I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of this stuff on the other beans even though they don't yet have an infestation it's getting a little hot so I'm going to move my cart and supplies to this uh, roll of greasy beans that I didn't get the diatomaceous earth to yet. So next time I'm in here, I'll know where to start. Ah, thanks for watching 
the garden with me, yeah? 